Together, let's embark on every Hot Wheel collector's favorite journey, the never-ending personal treasure hunt to fill our ever-growing die-cast collections with new and exciting pieces just like this one. Whether you take home 20 or more cars for your collection, or sometimes you just simply find nothing and all you take home is your own car, but with a lot less fuel inside of it. As full-time collectors, we all know that hunting for Hot Wheels is always a lot of fun. So buckle up and let's take a short trip out into the real world once again hit up a few of my local hunting spots and you guys can have a good laugh at how much us Brits have to pay for Hot Wheels here in the UK. Okay, so for everyone who doesn't know already, Smith's is Europe's Toys R Us. Things are looking good already as I can spy a few cars from the 2024 F and G case already. This store is pretty much the only place that I can pick up Hot Wheel products like Team Transport, a lot of the Silver Series releases, 143 scale cars, and collector's display sets. Here, you can see all of the neon speeders are just peg warmers now. Although, no pink skyline, which I'm pretty sure that one person would have just picked up all of them in one go. But hey, I'm actually here to have a proper look through all of the mainline basic cars today and hopefully get lucky too. Thank you very much, Smith's Toys employee that tidied up yesterday and left this BMW M3 wagon out like this for me. And although it's very sad to see, let me just quickly show you all of the Porsche collector's display sets that are now shelf warmers here at Smith's Toys. And lastly, here are a few five packs that are in stock right now in store. So after a good amount of digging through everything, here are the eight cars that made it home with me. That BMW goes hard and was definitely one of my most wanted. Smiths want a reasonable £1.69 for a mainline basic car, which I think is a relatively fair price for one of these. And after checking my receipt whilst I was making this video, I noticed that I was only charged for seven cars. I'm just here to report the truth. So although Smith's Toys would have actually liked 13 pounds and 52 pence, they accidentally let me pay 11 pounds and 83 pence for everything that you see here, which is actually a small discount that I definitely deserve considering the amount of money that I put inside their tills every month. I never really expect to find much inside an Asda, which is what we call Walmart here in the UK. But in just this particular store, I've noticed that they have a few premiums floating around from time to time. And look, no way. If this isn't the rarest sight, I didn't even need to turn up first thing either. This Boulevard Liberty Walk Sylvia and the black Nissan Skyline are both coming home with me especially because here's the actual cheapest Boulevard Sylvia that you can pick up on eBay UK right now. I always said that I would pick up every Boulevard Liberty Walk Sylvia that I saw in store. If you can hunt down one of these two in a store near you, then you're either very lucky or you're out hunting the right amount. I've definitely been getting very lucky recently hitting Aldi stores about once a month. I don't think that a lot of Hot Wheel collectors in the UK bother to look here very much. So if you're not checking your local Aldi for Hot Wheels, then you should definitely start adding this supermarket onto your list. Sadly, I pretty much have absolutely everything from this 2023 Q case. So I will just be leaving the VW Beetle treasure hunt behind for another collector. Okay, now let's move on. It's always definitely a mixed bag of surprises at my local B&M store. This particular store seems to be getting a few older cases, but the staff here are super friendly, and if they have a case out in the back, then they'll definitely fetch it for you. 
no new Hot Wheels today, but I can confirm that I have indeed cracked open sealed cases from a pallet inside this store. I guess that the Fast and Furious decades of Fast set are all now peg warmers. And it's always sad to see the Nissan Skyline monster truck left behind as a shelf warmer. So I'll just move these VW Jettas into a better position so that another collector can find them more easily. Make sure you properly check every single part of the toy section as I've also found these super cool old 10 packs. However, these ones, as cool as they are, I already have lots of these castings in my collection already. Although it's always pretty cool to see when they have this white Liberty Walk Nissan Skyline. Okay, so we're back in another Asda, but this one is way bigger than the first one that we went into that had the Nissan Silvia. I can definitely sense that they've had a fresh restock, although this is all looking like a very mixed batch of different cases. It's always really nice to see when other Hot Wheels enthusiasts have been rifling through the Hot Wheels, as this level of casual destruction lets collectors like us know that it's less likely that we'll be getting our hands on a super treasure hunt. I'm here for all the Hot Wheels, so let's keep sorting through the mess. We'll check the top shelf for any premium cars that we don't have already. However, looking through everything properly, here's the best of what's in store today. Make sure you grab a HKS Raptor if you haven't done so already. And I can't believe that someone left these orange custom Civics behind as I really love the green version of this casting too. Oh nice, look, wow, this is definitely what we're looking for. We don't actually get a lot of long cards in the UK, however I don't understand why short cards in Asda cost £1.90, and as you can see here, the long cards cost £2.40. However, with all this said, I'm still definitely going to pick up these cards that you can see here. Okay. So going through everything thoroughly, I purchased these six beauties, four of which are new for me, and I'm particularly happy to have found all of the three cars in the bottom row. I unfortunately had to pay a total of £12.90 for these six cars, but that's fine because if you're paying the eBay tax for a golden Civic right now, you're looking at a silly price like this. And also, why are people even like this building listings that look like this one? It's really just irritating and such a meme. Matalan is still one of the UK's best untapped hunting spots. So if you're a UK collector, then definitely add this store to your list when you're out hunting for Hot Wheels. And I can already see a new Mazda MX-5 that was on my radar for today. Nice. Okay, so after going through everything thoroughly, I found these four beauties that were all castings that I was hoping to find today. So that's a huge W for my collection. Matalan sell Hot Wheels at £2.40 a piece, which is right up there for Hot Wheels extortion here in the UK. But if you buy one, you get one half price, which drives the cost down to £1.80 each. My total spend at Matalan was £7.20. I'm super happy that I found that Fiat 500D and the Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Although the Poundland closest to me only has a small selection of Hot Wheels, if you can catch a fresh restock, I've definitely had some great luck inside this store, which is the equivalent to a Dollar Tree in the US. No super treasure hunt amongst this 2024 B case, but personally, if I didn't have these three awesome castings in my collection already, then these would be coming home with me. It can't be very easy for smaller people to reach the Hot Wheels in this Poundland, so I'll just leave these three cars at a more accessible height, and in fact, this Hummer can keep them company too. So, after a hard but fun day's work, for this Hot Wheels collector, I scored myself a total of 20 cars, which came from four different stores and cost me a grand total of £49.93. Which, when I put it like that, sounds super expensive, 
However, including those two premium boulevard cars, it actually works out at just £2.50 per car, which then makes the 20 cars seem really worth it, especially because a lot of them are really desirable amongst collectors right now. Here is a lightning fast showcase of the top six best cars from today's haul. Open your Audi 90 Quattro and make sure you check out the different window designs for the left and the right side. With those wheels, this Mazda MX-5 feels like it could have been released in 1999. Even better than the gold version? I definitely think so, which is why I'm placing this epic ice white Civic Si at number four. A brand new casting for 2024. Is this Jaguar Mark I the secret missing seventh car from Mix One for Vintage Racing Club? In fact, let me show you. With its vintage, racing livery and crossed out, taped up headlight design, once you add this casting into your vintage racing club set, just like this, I think that I'm right to say that the Jaguar is in fact the missing seventh member. The Golf livery version of this Fiat 500D is one of my favorites in my collection, which is why this 2024 mainline version comes in at number two and all of my subscribers would have easily guessed that I would place the BMW M3 wagon at number one in today's showcase. Perfection. Let me know if you would have been happy to find those 20 cars in one single trip by leaving your thoughts in the comments section for this video. And if you would like to watch me open a very special Hot Wheels release that on its own costs about the same amount as everything that I picked up today, then you should definitely check out this video right over here. Appreciate each and every one of you for watching. I'll see you in the next one and stay lucky fellow diecast collector.